You guys ever seen Grover House? Y'all ever seen Grover House? Let's do Grover House. Come on, some of y'all have never seen Grover House. Images of Grover House are hard to come by, so here's a thread where I will tweet some of my favorite Grover House images. They'll make you laugh, they'll make you cry, they'll make you ask what the fuck why, okay? So, for those of you who don't know, a little bit, a little bit of brief, uh, a brief history. Uh, Grover, quote unquote, Grover was a a uh, regular poster on a uh, on a website called Something Awful. Something Awful was a very popular forum, uh, uh, often sort of put put like side by side with 4chan. It had a different culture than 4chan, uh, but it was similar, lot, full of lots of uh, lots of, um, of 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 shit posts, lots of bullshit, lots of weird harassment. Shit. Yes, it's 4chan. It's much like 4chan, okay? But there was a guy, a regular on that website, who posted about his uh, his experience buying and renovating a house, okay? Um, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at some of the images of Grover House. I don't really care to get into the like lore of the Grover character because the Grover guy, I don't know what's up with him, but his house was interesting. So this is the house as it looked at the very beginning, okay? So this was the first image. This was the actual house before Grover started changing it. This right here is the photo manipulation, the master planning that was drawn by Grover himself, uh, planning out what he wanted the house to look like in the end. Uh, as you can see, this was done in Microsoft Paint. So, uh, maybe, maybe not the best form of architectural planning, but yes, this was an image posted to the forum that was meant to show off what it was going to look like. And it's a little odd because over here, you can kind of see that like this portion of the house, even in the mock-up, just kind of like plows into the backyard area. Yeah. So next. Something that was discovered very quickly was that this house was in a swamp. Actually, it was uh, known that it was in a swamp before it was bought, but that didn't seem to matter to the infamous Grover. And uh, he found himself almost immediately entering into a horrific battle against mud. Now, this might not like really make a lot of sense to most people. It doesn't even make a lot of sense to me because I'm not a soup. I'm not like a construction worker. But I think. I, but I hope everyone will be able to understand the basic idea, which is that a, a swamp is very hard, is a very difficult thing to to like get rid of. And the reason for that is because it's water on top of like semi permeable mud on top of impermeable mud. So you have to dig very deep and you also have to get rid of all of that water and you need to make sure it doesn't flow back in because that's what created the swamp in the first place is water flowing down and stagnating in an area. So that makes like clearing a marsh or clearing a swamp very, very difficult. And as you can see, the swamp challenge, uh, uh, it became a big deal immediately. This is the nightmare that you have to deal with when you're digging in a swamp. And another thing is that even, uh, you can't just build on a swamp because if, if you put a piece of hard concrete on top of mud, it will sink. It will sink and it will break. It can go uneven. It can topple the whole house. It can pull the rest of the house down. It is very difficult to deal with swamps. So you have to be very careful if you're moving into a place that you don't, that you're prepared for that type of challenge, okay? However, after much effort, a foundation was indeed laid over the swamp. So here's the foundation, all right? We're gonna continue. Do we use the ladder or the wall to climb up there? So this is where, okay, I'll take a look at that in a minute, all right? I'll take a look at that in a minute, all right? So here we go. I thought it was relevant to this, my bad. So expensive and difficult, this is the beginning of it. They have walls set up over here. And now keep in mind, to my knowledge, uh, they moved into this house pretty fucking early on, okay? But it's gonna get very, very interesting very quickly, okay? 
So here's our next setup, all right? So this is presumably the area, I mean, this is the area behind the upgraded garages built on the new foundation. And what we have here is a split level staircase with a window right here at the bottom of the first set of stairs that's that is just the oddest thing first of all okay you can see cracks in the foundation already yeah listen some of you out there know more about construction than me and you're going to be eating your your hats okay now many people have noted that there are if you look at this picture there are a lot of examples of slap shod uh, very uneven construction going on here. As you can see, for example, up here where my mouse is, you can see that there is a very obvious gap that's widening. It's a V-shaped gap here. This is not done. These are all uneven. It's very easy to tell. These look like they're outright splintered already. This is uneven and hanging over. There's a lot of unevenness on all, all throughout here. These boards are all very uneven. And even down here, you can tell just from looking at it that there's a lot of unevenness going on with the construction here. So even to an untrained eye, you can tell that this structure is, uh, is, um, is, is let's just say, creatively put together, okay? This says, boy, if Grover ever decides to install a tub with a gravel foundation on the second floor, let's hope he doesn't cut into that engineered lumber or else it's game over for Grover House. Now, this is something somebody will have to let me know. I don't know enough about house construction to tell you what's wrong with this, but I'm going to guess that some people in the chat will be able to know what's wrong with this, okay? That's all I know, okay? Now, this was completed in an incredibly, at an incredibly rapid pace okay so uh one of the things that people were uh were very worried about while this was being constructed is the fact that like i said it was being constructed at an unbelievable pace an unrealistic pace almost as if they were rushing through the construction so that they could live in the place uh, as soon as possible uh at the cost of uh safety and quality okay and here we start to see uh some interesting decisions like for example the rounded the rounded windows um which uh also it is a little odd i will say the children's toys in here uh is is <laughs> is very funny the idea you're gonna have your kids running around on your unsafe construction site building like a house that is destined to collapse and then you've also got the idea to put in fucking dome dome windows so here we see there is a dome window installed in the strangest location you can imagine. Why you would go through the, all the effort of putting in a dome window only to have it hanging weirdly over the edge of this overlook? In a, like you can't reach it to clean it. You can't set anything up on there. It's just floating there in the middle of nowhere. But apparently that was the vision. This is the... Uh, this is the grand vision. So, um, this is when we start getting into the custom-made blueprints. So, you have here what appears to be a dining room and kitchen added on, uh, and an upper level added on to the garage. And then there's a, a, of course, the house here. Now, you'll notice this is a little hard to see because of the quality, okay? But you'll notice here that we have... Uh, you'll notice here that we have two doors that cannot possibly open at the same time. So these doors are like literally slamming into each other at all times, okay? So that's that's the first part. The rest of this is the is the is the old house, okay? That they were building onto. And so they've added this here and then they've added a a pantry that is separate which in and of itself is not so bad but it is a bit odd that they installed a new wall here when like I, I don't know it seems like it would have been better just to leave this open here so that you can go between these three areas easily but i assume they didn't want to have an open door to the garage going directly into their kitchen 
So there is no, there is no sense. I cannot make sense of any of this. This is apparently the HVAC duct ductworks that was done again DIY by the creator of this house. So somebody who's a specialist in HVAC, maybe you could tell me uh, uh, what's going on here, but I can't make sense of any of this. I don't know what any of this means. This looks like fucking scribbles to me. Okay? Oh. Well, there's the answer. So this is what the, uh, this is what the, what the duct work ended up looking like at the end of the, at the end of the project. This is an actual picture of the in-progress duct work designed, again, by, by the Grover. It loops into itself. Yeah, well... And this is what, this is yet another picture from a different angle. Just taped together in every way imaginable, just stretching out all over the place incomprehensibly. Yeah, to call it rough would be, uh, would be a, a, an understatement, okay? Then you have the, elect the electrical work, which was done by Grover. I am not an electrician. So I can't tell you if this is wired properly, but I will say it does concern me that this is like uh, put into the, <laughs> this is whole, like DIY electrician work set into what appears to be extremely easily flammable wood, okay? This appears to be in the garage. I can't quite tell though. There's a lot that one could say about a lot here, but I find it noteworthy that apparently they let their kids play in an active construction area as evidenced by the toys visible in so many of these photos. So this is the, this is the progress shot as they start to put together the stairs, as they have attached the, uh, let's say very, very interesting, um, uh, you know, supports. But you'll also notice that there are no supports for these stairs. These stairs are held together by, o only by the being nailed into these, cr these beams over here. There's no supports for these stairs whatsoever. You just walk up and hope to God that they don't collapse in the middle. No, no supports, no fucking supports anywhere. Yeah, you just gotta rush up them and hope you don't fucking die. Na nails nails and screws into this fucking in uh, incomplete wall what's with the nets presumably that was so that they could walk up and down them while it was still in construction <laughs> yeah it's gonna hurt if it breaks yes so here's some pipe work damn one thing I love to do is to put staples around electrical cables. Nothing is better than when you use a staple gun to put staples around electrical cables. You know, I don't think anything can go wrong with this. Wrapping metal around conductive electrical metal is definitely not a bad idea. Nothing can be safer. So here's the window. Here you can see uh, this weird, weirdly placed round window, okay? And this is how that was installed, by the way, with what appears to be uh, a, a, like, I don't even know, I don't even know, this is like, I don't even, I don't even think this is scaffolding. This looks like something that's used to lift up a car, like a, like a jack for a car. And it's a ladder set across uh, two things like that. So he's just installing this window and the roof, just standing on a ladder, laying on its side. And I'm pretty sure this is a, a jack for a car. Here's the ma here's the here's the doorway that as you can see has already been severely damaged. The drywall is completely fucked. 
already. So like, and also uneven. If you look over here, you can notice that there's like a huge chunk taken out. And also the drywall over here is completely destroyed. Drywall destroyed here, drywall destroyed here. So all this drywall work and painting work, I don't know why they would even bother doing it at this point. I have no idea, except for unfortunately, it does look like they were still living in this part of the house, which is horrifying to think about because, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is part of the old house, but look at where it connects and look at how much they fucked up. So here you go. Yeah, nothing wrong here, folks. Nothing uneven here with this scaffolding clearly not installed correctly. Clearly not correctly installed. Is that crooked? Yes, it's literally installed incorrectly. I'm sure that whoever was working on this was very confident that, there, that, that this would not collapse at any given moment. This is the kitchen. I mean, credit where credit's due for having a lot of outlets, I guess. You know, that's a modern need. You know, in the modern kitchen, you need lots of outlets to charge your phone and shit. I do find it kind of weird. Have you noticed this? That there's that this window looks out into the other house. So there's a window that looks into the expansion. Like you could just watch whoever's in the you just like have a window that points into your garage for some reason. And this is just I mean I don't know. I don't know. This is another thing that that was weird to me. I don't know why they offset the two doors like this. Have you noticed that? Look, this right here, it's hard to tell because of the perspective, but this space right here, this door is set forward from the other door. And I don't really know why that's the case. It was apparent on his other, on his former, uh, on his previous um, drawings as well. For some reason, the like the second door just juts out for no apparent reason. They are, t I, as far as I can tell, they're two different doors, but I don't know why. I, I, I have no idea why. It also means that you need to have two tracks running. It just means a lot of extra work for no real reason. Oh no, look, you can see that the, you can see the wall is uneven over here. If you look, you can actually see the wall goes down like this. It has a downward sag. And also over here, there appears to be a door and a window that are literally just nailed together. The door frame and the window frame are just nailed together. Why? I, I don't, I wouldn't even begin to tell you. I, I, I can't I can't explain why there's a small door with this here. Uh, so this is uh this is where the uh I assume the central air was installed, which you know, I don't know. To me, that just looks extremely unsafe. That just looks very these are lit these little feet are straining. This thing is bent. It's uneven. And they're just fucking they this whole heavy thing is held in by tiny screws. If and just keep in mind also, note that there is a plug down here. So presumably, it is intended to have workspace underneath this thing. You're going to be sitting here and this fucking shit's going to collapse down on you. I don't know, I don't know enough about, I mean, I mean, okay, I can tell you this. This, this vent, look at these edges of this vent, just completely and utterly bo bodged, just banged together.
This is the thermostat, which I don't know anything about thermostats, so good luck. This one's one of the best ones, okay? Take a look at this. So this was before the house was complete, but they were living in the house. So as you can see, no supports were added, none. They did not add any supports. The insulation is just, you. if you go up these stairs, you will get insulation on your feet. Not only that, but this vent is just sitting here blocked off. And do you notice something odd about this window? Do, do you notice? You notice something interesting about the window? A child, a child's head is gonna be like right here, okay? Now what would happen if that child fell down the stairs and tumbled over and banged into here? Ah, perhaps they might fly out the window? Ho ho ho, Fucking Merry Christmas. You get to go flying out the window. It's, people would, people joked about the child, it was called the child height window. Because it really, it really is. It's like the perfect height for a child or a dog to go flying out of. Yeah, and of course, yeah, literally toddlers can climb out the window. But yeah, this is a, I think there's actually, hold on, let me see. I think there's more to this. I think there's a, oops, I think there's a second thread here or a second part to this thread I can show you. Let me go back to the, the, the top and then we'll go down and we'll see what we can find here. Cause I think there's other pictures. I know there's a ton of pictures you can find online. I know there's more than this. I've seen even more. Well, let me see if I can find any of the other ones. Usually people will post them. Ah, yes, yes. So here's the, here's the delicious kitchen. Are you all ready to see the fucking kitchen? Here you go. Now we get to enjoy the kitchen with uh, this shit. Clearly busted, uh, clearly busted tiles. Horrible, horrible grout work. Uh, they're clearly living and eating in this space, which is depressing to say the least and unfortunate. I don't know. They have the the thing is the whole rest of the house ha was functional. It doesn't make much sense why they were they why they were like m like in intent on living and cooking in the area because the rest of the house was done. Do you just give up halfway? I don't know. Here we go. This person says, I cannot stress enough just how cluttered every single shot of Grover House is. It's like nothing was kept clear while they worked and it bothers me to my core. Yeah, that's something you'll notice in all of these pictures is there's dust all over everything. There's dust and dirt. Look, they have a paint, like a, a, a drip cloth right here and there's food on top of the painting drip cloth. There are open, there are open squares up in here where the window, where the lights have not been installed. There are open holes all throughout here. And there's tools all over the place. This is how the kitchen was envisioned in the 3D, in the 3D model. 3D model, and this is real life. So let's go back, 3D model, real life. 3D model, real life. And again, remember how I told you before that this corner over here, like uh, that this corner was gonna be a problem? Look, you can even tell. You can see from this angle how bad it is. You, you can see the doors literally don't have enough room to move. You can't go in, like you, there would be, people would be crashing into each other all the time over here. Oh, this is so good. This is my favorite part. Look at this. So, this is, this, when you first look at this, you might be like, hmm, what's going on? This is the second floor. This is that area up at the top of the danger stairs, okay? Danger stairs. This is a slanted ceiling. And there are lights slanting towards you. 
Now, in the original drawings, he would talk about how he wanted to have a, uh, a couch up here with a TV, but he then put inset lights, uh, uh, inset lights that would blast into your eyes. So your, your eyes get blasted with light as you're coming up the stairs, and if you were to s turn to face this wall, this back wall back here, you would get blasted in the face by a million lights and there's just two whole lines of lights and you can actually see here where he fucked one of them up and it was uneven so there's actually a mistake that was made in here as well which is also very funny okay now now we can see from the outside the beauty of the uneven doors the door which is a part of another door the two windows, which do not align, these do not line up perfectly. And then you have different sized windows over here for no real reason other than poor planning. You have a window here and a window here, and then another window over here. And again, this is the door that's pounded into the other door. And on the other side of this, which we can't see quite yet, is the window that's pounded into the door frame. It's just, uh, it's very interesting. And you'll notice it because of this, because these two doors are for some reason, like it's like set deeper in. I don't really know why. I don't know what the, the, the logic was here, but you ha he had to install another light here so that it wouldn't just cast a shadow because this nice looking light that he, well, nice looking, but comparatively nice looking light gets blocked by this ledge. So if you want to be able to see over here, you have to install a second pair of lights. And this is where things start to get a little bit messy, okay? All right, this is the piping behind the house. So of course he also did his own plumbing. And uh, needless to say, there was some disasters involving the plumbing, okay? So this is a uh, this is hand done plumbing in a swamp. And this this was a small disaster that befell Grover. It involved poop. Let's just say uh a sewer line, a septic line did indeed burst in the process and there was indeed a poop flood. A poop flood in the yard that they were in the yard of the house that they dug up themselves that they were had children living in this is the uh, this is an earlier photo by the way of the uh of the 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 weird garage yeah the fucking shit swamp oh yeah and also for some reason, look at this. This is amazing, okay? I want you to feast your eyes on this, okay? First of all, this angle piece is uneven, but you notice how his his doors, if you look back here, hold on, actually, we can I can show you. Here's the front, okay? Notice how he's got these fancy looking uh, angled garage door. You might be like, wow, well, that's a nice stylistic touch. But as you know, as we now know, he didn't actually get angled garage doors. It's just an illusion. This is just a piece of wood that blocks part of the garage door. And it's not even connected correctly. Some uh, delightful child labor. Digging up the apparent, what appears to be the poop zone. Got your kids shoveling septic. Absolutely amazing. This is the one that people use, which they often call the scream because it does look like Grover House is screaming. I've, I've literally, they say this in this shot, Grover House is screaming. The screaming shot of Grover House is one of the most famous shots of Grover House. This is what the facade looked like while it was still in progress. Ah, look, we got another angle of the stairs. Holy shit! Wait, look! You can see the 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 fucking 
the fucking cabinets are giving in on themselves. They're caving inwards. <laughs> I love this one. So this is where the angled lights are. The angled lights overlook the uh, a very oddly placed chandelier, which another thing you'll notice, by the way, another thing you'll notice, this is also a slanted ceiling. So they have a chandelier hanging from a slanted ceiling. But this is an odd one. I don't know why there's an outlet here. I also don't know why you would put the thermostat on the stairs. This is a, these are like, or this vent here. The vent, the thermostat, and the plug all make no sense to me. Like what, you wanna stop on the stairs to adjust the thermostat? You're gonna charge your phone or something at the bottom of the stairs? The vent, you just want it to like blow on you when you walk by? Still, even in the finished version, this is this is presumably after a lot of work. Uh, 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 there's still no support here, none. So these are just this is just a disaster waiting to happen. And down here, there is a uh, a weird little cubby space, which is odd, also. And yeah, you can you can look at this and you can see that this is not first of all, I don't I do not understand the insulation here. But secondly, uh you can see this is not a very safe setup. Yeah, don't don't have the kids run up the stairs too fucking fast. Stair steps are sheathed in wood to help facilitate your e e ejection through the window. So here's this right here. Again, remember how I said before that like uh this makes this like window here makes no sense. Also, Take a look at this. You guys ready? Take a look at this. Notice this. Fan next to the inset lights on a slanted ceiling right across from what we know over here is a chandelier installed on a slanted ceiling. And, oh yes, this is where it is. The couch at the top of the railing with the lights blasting directly into the eyes of anybody who sits on the couch. What an what a fucking incredible thing. And also putting a couch leaning up against this railing, which oversees your dining room. If somebody sits back too hard on the couch on a fucking recliner, on a recliner. If somebody leans back too hard, they're gonna fucking knock the railing down onto the people eating dinner. Now we get some interesting bathroom pictures, okay? So here we go. Well, honestly, not too bad. Except for the fact that this, that you have a, except for that you have a, 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 a shower that's a, a, a ground level shower, a full, like a, what's it called? A, a half, a half shower, is that what that's called? But with no glass, it just has this. So you're just gonna be dumping water out of here all the time. And the door opens like inward into the bathroom. Yeah, so if anybody, if you're brushing your teeth, somebody just opens the door and bashes you. There's multiple like sub threads about each part of the house. I love this one. I love that this person, by the way, the reason why you'll, you'll actually find multiple of these, but shout out to boldly building two who posted this particular collection. Um, oh, okay. I didn't know that. Well, that's good. I didn't actually know that Bizadu. You learn something every day. Apparently it is to code that bathroom doors should always swing in. In case something blocks it, you can still exit so long as you're on the side that's clear. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, credit to them for putting this together. The reason why it's hard to find all of the pictures for this is because it's really difficult to access something awful and it's and you have to pay money to access the something awful uh uh, forums. Oh, hey, look, here's more. Yes, we got more. So we've got the Roombas, which is an interesting decision. 
having Roombas uh, trying to suck up dirt in an active construction area, and you can tell it's an active construction area because they still have wood all over the place. Here we go. Look at that beautiful installation of the uh, air conditioner. Just having a giant air conditioner sitting on uh, two stacked up uh, concrete blocks. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, this is another one. Now, you won't be able to tell it from this image, but do you notice that this is missing here? Well, the reason why it's missing is because uh, he put his grill up against his house, and then when he cooked food on it, it melted the siding. Unironically, that was a real thing that happened as a part of this. He melted a piece of his house by pushing the grill right up against the house. So as you can see, this tool shed follows the same, uh, you know, core design principles. Very, uh, very, you know, very even, definitely no giant gaping holes in the, in the design. Definitely nothing giving out. Oh yeah, they just added like a weird random roof for some reason. They added like a, a weird balcony thing. This appears to be when they were digging the foundation. Oh no! Oh my God! I didn't even know this. I forgot, I forgot. Oh. I forgot about this part of it. You can actually see this in one of the earlier ones. If you go to one of the earlier photos, you can see what they're talking about here. If you notice, the foundation here and the foundation of the new section aren't even. They're uneven. They're like uh they're like a like a half foot in difference and you can actually see it in the earlier one. I completely fucking I didn't even realize that. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the image of it so I can show you what I'm talking about. You can actually see it in the earlier one. Where's the kitchen image? Here you go. Wait, here we go. Look, you can see it right here. Look, right here you can see where you have to go down because they, they built the foundations uneven. And all of these were posted to a, a 4chan-esque forum. Just being like, yeah, this is my house I'm working on. Having a good old time. And by the way, uh, lots of people tried to give this guy advice and he did not take any of it. He did not take any of the goddamn advice. This guy would just beef with the trolls and he would just call everyone who gave him advice trolls, basically. Oh my God, this is a furnace. Wait, this is the furnace. Oh no! You yeah, look. They pointed this out. Notice how that the original house, the old, old building uh, roof is lower than the floor here. They didn't make it even. So this is the, this is the, this is where the floor of the new section begins. This is where the ceiling of the old section begins. They just fuck. they didn't measure it. Got the fake wood flooring. This was what the house, this was what the house, this is the wall that he built on. This is where the Grover house began. The old house was here. Merry Christmas, everybody. And hey, look, when you're sitting here and looking at it, despite this extremely, extremely weird paint job right here, if you were to look at this, you wouldn't even know that you were walking around in a death trap. Isn't that beautiful? Fucking impre impressive. Also, I love these. I love that people are roasting him because he has a, pa a printed out painting taped to the wall. This is not a real painting. These are printouts that are taped to the wall. You can actually see the piece of tape very, very lightly if you look. Here, I'm going to try and here. I'll try and zoom in on it for us. Look. See them over there? Can you guys see those little tapes? It's kind of hard to see. Incredible. Well, there you go, everybody. There you are. 
I got to, we got to do two little fun architecture sh sh segments. It's been a while since we've done stuff like that, but that was fun, wasn't it?